just curiosity, what is Fields net w- now worth in Superflex Dynasty League? Firstborn son. Bought him at a way cheaper price than I think. I think he said a late first in Bateman is what he paid for Justin Fields. I mean, it's what it seemed like that was like a high I'm, price tag. Why, why at would the, you at the time when you maybe bought him? If you bought him in the beginning I mean, of the season flex, or whatever, you know. Yeah, I mean, he was probably a fourth round starter pick. Third, yeah, round but I mean, pick. by a few games in, it was like, what yeah. the fuck's going on with the yeah. Bears? Yeah, you know, value probably down quite a bit. It looked like, you know, depending on who you talk to. There's, you know, there's a real good chance that the that the Bears are just done with him and that, you know, they didn't give him any help. So, I mean, you're still like a third you know. or fourth round startup pick. You can't get that guy for like two ones. I mean, maybe you can, I guess. I guess you can maybe get him for two ones. I don't know if everyone was paying a one for Bateman. Probably for the most part. Yeah, late So one. maybe. But regardless, it's worth probably I'm more s- than I'm that I'm saying now, now right? that would be a semi-cheap price tag. I'm saying a few weeks ago, I feel like that was probably a proper price tag. Uh, but I mean, I'm I'm probably not that interested in going and selling fields right now. Well, I'm just I'm probably not buying. I'm not s- spending too much more than he has than, fields. So right. I'm just, wondering what I'm he's just worth saying to like yeah. maybe what should right. get well, re- what in return. That's what I'm driving at. It's like I don't know that I'm trying. You know, I guess if you could get two ones, I would. I'd move off of fields. But really, yeah, sure. I don't know if I'd do that. Mm. Dude's like showing you what his ceiling is, like, yeah. and it's well, it's certainly astronomical. whatever is going on right now is certainly not sustainable. So we need to we need to see growth in play style, but like the fantasy wise, it's great. How long how long can that the way he's playing right now really last? I don't really know. I think he seems like a good player. He has all the tools. Can can it move forward? Can the system develop? Can it not get stale over there? Can they can they build properly in Chicago? There's a lot of unanswered questions for me to really be okay. He's had some great rushing fantasy weeks the last couple of weeks. Awesome. Um, I don't know that that really settles me into him being, you know, great long term fantasy wise. And there's no shade at it's, it's more of again the organization. Than, than fields that I'm more concerned about to to properly sure uh, bring him along and, and be worth uh, you know get, get into the uh, elite of the elite quarterback club because I mean you know once you get into the those those big time quarterbacks it's it's just like any other big time player it's three firsts right yeah. So you're saying right now Fields is just one first off of those elite of the elites? I would guess you, that's kind of okay, what I'm saying. Okay, so would you rather have Trevor Lawrence or Justin Fields? Fields. Mm. Similar situations organizationally. So neither one makes me comfortable moving forward with well, a I didn't ask franchise you if you're comfortable with them. quarterback. Yeah, so I mean, it's. it's I feel pr- pretty comfortable with Fields. I mean, it's, it's pretty. It's pretty close. I'd be. I pretty don't need close forty-five for points a game from him. You know, just half that. I'd be <laughs> fucking. That'd be that'd be pretty close. Yeah, that's pretty close for me. I think I'd give the bump to Fields just because of the rushing. Yeah, T. Law's got got the hidden 40, 40 rush yards a game in there. He's he's pretty athletic and can do get you those the the enough to not be an elite running guy, but help. Sure. catch up to some of those who is that a little bit the you know you see from both guys the arm talent and and really pop at certain points in the game like t-law a few times a game makes these ridiculous effortless throws and fields same way um i feel a little bit better about jacksonville and the supporting cast uh but that could change very quickly and in uh in chicago as well to be right on par with you know nobody was nobody was in love with the supporting cast for jacksonville in the offseason christian kirk overpay say jones overpay evan ingram retread that wasn't any good and it's like oh all of a sudden those guys you know they're they're half decent i mean they're they're not well it's a whole lot better than what's going on in chicago sure and the effort was there I think effort will be there. In I, I think I think so too. I think so too. I think I think you got to lead Fields right now because of the rushing upside. So um, would you rather have Fields or the Superflex one hundred and one next year? Uh the one hundred and one, for sure. Okay. 
All right, so, that's all the questions I got. So everybody's now. everybody's on the field side, not the T law side. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Go Tigers. Yeah. Go Tigers. Yeah, I'm. I'm that's this is really close for me. I guess slight lean fields right now. Just looks like he's like playing much better. I mean, he like not the T law can't, but it's like the 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 Bears are like. Losing despite what feels feels is putting him in position to win. I don't know. T laws be, have, have he he just can't put him in position to win. He's just making some bonehead plays and like he just it just yeah, seems the, like something's a the, little off. The Not that he can't the fix The difference itself. between those two things are is Fields is basically just running around and putting them. He's not actually playing football. It seems like I mean he's throwing touchdowns. T Law is try yeah he's he's T Law is throwing red zone interceptions. T Law is making some really bad. I'm not I'm not defending Trevor Lawrence. I'm just saying stylistically when you watch the game, one guy looks like he's operating a system and the other guy looks like he's playing backyard football. And I'm not saying that that can't work because making it, it look it certainly easy can. Almost. And it's just it's just how how that develops can go one way or another really quickly and I, I, I it's close for me still I'll give the nod to fields uh, right now because I, I believe they both have um, big upside in, in their their passing ability um, so I, I, I can I can lean slightly with fields I'm just I, I guess it blows my mind that like a few weeks ago, you were pretty out on Justin Fields, and because of a couple of really big fantasy performances, now Fields is like a godsend all of a sudden. Well, and I don't. I, I it's a well, it was a huge fucking difference between week three and it, week but ten. It's really not that big of a difference. He's just running around and do like he's gonna be the quarterback plays. there in the future. Like they're not gonna like get rid sure, of him. Sure, sure. And I didn't sure. know if that was the case in week three. So I was willing to pivot off of Fields, not knowing what his future is. Now, he's not going anywhere. Yeah. He's not going anywhere. I mean, he's this, shown that he can play well enough despite all the things that they what, have not done for him. What he's doing right now is the whole reason that you were interested in drafting him from a fantasy football perspective. Correct. That, that's why you want Anthony Richardson, um, you know, on your team. Yeah. Um, Jalen that, Hurts. That's, yeah, I mean... That's why you want not uh, Jalen Hurts is a, is a good example. It's like you know, Philly, Lamar Jackson is a is a, and, and Baltimore are both very different organizations than what the Chicago Bears have been over the last however many years. So Since that's 1986, <laughs> right? Or 85. Um, so that's that's really the biggest pause for me moving forward. I think I think Fields has all the talent and ability in the world. It's it's just will they put him in the best position to succeed and not just have to be you know, every single thing for that offense and, 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 and eventually just be a detriment to his growth um, and not really be able to get to the next level. And we've seen Jalen Hurts be able to take that to the next level um, by putting all the pieces around him and, and being, you know, well-groomed. And, 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 and a big part of it is, and I'm not saying, Field seems to have a little bit different attitude than Jalen Hurts as well. Um, Jalen Hurts it, it has notoriously been a guy who puts in seems like a hard hat asinine amount of work and yeah. and and wants to be great i'm not i don't know that also to be true also, about fields or not it could be i'm not i don't i just don't know um and he just seems to have a little bit more of a temperament about him than maybe hurts did probably all that soy what's that probably all that soy probably all that soy <laughs> 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 <laughs>